This is my first ever pewter casting. First, you will begin by making a mold to pour the silicone in. I'm working with a high temperature silicone mold from Smooth On, number 60. Typically, I make my molds out of foam core and then hot glue the pieces together. Make sure to hot glue all the seams so that the silicone can't leak through. Next, weigh out the silicone. You'll want to mix these evenly. And at first it appears like they're not going to mix together, but just keep stirring. It will eventually mix. I have a debubbleizer, so I was able to get some of the extra bubbles out with my vacuum. After the vacuum process, I poured the silicone into the individual molds that I made. You have to wait 24 hours for this silicone to cure. So I let it cure overnight and came back the next day. If you have purchased a pewter ingot, you can cut it with a saw or you can cut it with a horizontal band saw. I think the demolding process is my favorite part. After you have made your silicone molds, you can use a scalpel to clean up the edges. After this, I lightly dusted each mold with baby powder before the casting. Pewter is a metal that melts at a very low temperature, around 350 to 400 degrees. I happened to have an acetylene torch and was able to melt it a little bit faster.
Here's how my castings turned out, and I'm very excited to see these results. I hope to cast more soon. Thanks.